Good evening, wonderful people, great beer friends, wherever you are in this coronavirus infested planet. We welcome you to a very special Radio Biafra live transmission hosted by my humble self, Namdekano, the leader of IPOB all over this world, and by the very special grace of Elohim, Chukwokika Biyama Purimiyanina, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, not minding this very irritating pandemic, not minding the pain and the hardship that people are encountering all over the world, particularly Biafrans. I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you, irrespective of where you are. You are always in our thoughts and in our prayers. We continue to pray ceaselessly, not just to ask for the grace and the preservation of God Almighty in heaven, but that we may be showed a way out of this very darkness, that we may be guided out of this very pestilence that this very family, this very Biafra, this very IPOB might endure to the glory of Biafra and the eternal adoration of the God that have set us on this very path. Therefore, as we preach this very gospel, as we begin to outline what we are all going to do to remain safe in the midst of this very deadly pandemic, I ask you to please tell those who are around you if it is safe to do so. Inform friends, inform relatives, and inform families all over the world to tune in to CHK 102.1 or 102.2. In some areas it is 102.3. This very broadcast this evening is cast simultaneously. On satellite, we are on Facebook, on my page, Martin Namdekano. We are on Radio Biafra page. We tried to go into Radio Biafra London and they refused. But we must preach this very gospel. We must ensure the safety of Biafrans all over the world. We must take care of our vulnerable at home. We must make sure that the hospitals are equipped and staffed adequately to deal with what is to come. It is no longer a question of if, but when. This very disaster will strike and strike in a very deadly fashion. We must be prepared. We cannot afford to take any chances. We are prayerful, that is true. We are the children of light, that also is not in dispute. We are the chosen and the beloved of the Creator in heaven, that no one can doubt no question also but we must take precaution we must do what is right not just to safeguard ourselves but to also be mindful of the fragility of the health of our parents and our grandparents because we do not want to bury them in mass therefore this broadcast this evening is very very vital it is very very important that we not only listen but take the advice we are about to be given very very seriously 
because we thought this very pandemic, this very strain of corona will just give you a mild symptom of flu and it will disappear. But it seems to me that those that designed this very deadly virus may have some ulterior motive. Before we proceed this evening, we must hand over our proceedings to the Most High Chukwokikabiyama Elohim Primihenina to remember all those who are suffering, those who cannot go to work, those who are shut out from every means of livelihood, those who are in distress because their loved one has either upon or they are fighting for their dear lives in hospital. We we'll remember all of them this very evening. We must bow our heads and we must pray for those who do not understand the Bible language, for those who may become perplexed at the edge of our prayer. You must bear with us. We pray in the language of heaven. If you are privileged to be sad or kneeling in front of the creator of the heavens and this very earth, you will hear the angels speak Hebrew language. You will hear them adore and worship Elohim Chukwokikabiyama in the language of the the very oldest language on the face of this very planet. Therefore, we must pray.
Uwe nyanyi huna nyagi onye mwe mna chine kena kiwe ropo taranyi. Kisi we meoko si milu kwe wabo. Umu kiwe si ni mea we gafe. Mbe hasi na kafe ro nanke bere. Nke gion we kiwe su garahani mea. We na gafe. Ten we si no za dizigi. Iwe ropo tarahonzo. Ebu zona begi. Obi ki kelege zebu bede ngo zanyi wena ryoge, wena jage ma, omyo bo nani yana achi, iwa ato matu na nke bere, ni hino bo nani yibo nye keri heni nye kereke mano wego nye kereke, umugi wena kwa kukina balea, eli gwe wena kwa kebe, e huna nyagi ne bere gini mendu anyi, anyi wena ryoge chine kena, musu nile kendi aga, ki we mera nye bere, we zopo tandeye, we nyendi ni nebo, Bundi na bambo kanyiwe ahisike. Bundi doktor nande noso nye mwe mna chine kena. Dakiwe bahume makasi ye hobi. Manye kwa hiki kereke huwe hana mage na hawe nisisi. Kahawe doria. Chine kena nkigwe kahawe leke tandi oria. Unso bula nisiwe mejo. Unso bula nisiwe zo juku. Unso bula nisiwe zo juku. Nanke bere de ngosi Mena nye bere chine ke nanki gwe Onye kere li gwe no wama Mene ndige bere Onye obo nani yabo wano tu onye biko Mene ndige bere Maso putanyi na kadi ya Anye mego nyo zanyi na bakuje O mego nyo zanyi na uye nye maka O bu na kage kan gozi siwe biya chine ke nanki gwe O bu na kage kan so pota ke siwe biya onye ke chasi heni nelu O bu soso na kage se bu pede ngozi Ke li gwe no wage jiwe wa ke be No o bu na negi bo ne keri heni ne kere ke mano mego nye kere gi Anye we na ryoge ki we na roto Ki we na ran so poro Kiwe nani bisi na la kiwe nani jamma chine kena de ngozi. Si te ne bige bi ma o ne bige bi kanyi na ryo gise. 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 Mamma de regi chine ke. Mamma de regi chine ke. Mamma de regi chine ke. We must proceed to preach this very gospel. And our people must listen and listen very attentively because coronavirus is not a joke. You must assimilate and absorb everything that I'm going to tell you because it is based on the very finest and soundest medical advice available around the world at the moment. Thoroughly and carefully researched in order to ensure that Biafrans all over the world come out of this pandemic intact. That we may all live to see the promise of God in our lives because Biafra is the only thing that matters. Wealth and riches do not matter. The only thing of concern to those of us who are called both in flesh and in spirit to restore Biafra. The only thing that drives us every blessed day, the only determination that we possess, the only thing that we get out of the bed in the morning for is to see the promise of God upon our lives, the restoration of Biafra. And I am deeply troubled and distressed about what we observe on a daily basis. This morning we are being told that the United States of America, where incidentally there are a lot of Biafrans, that that very country of God is under very serious pressure to contain this virus with very limited success, I must say. We must understand that it is for our own benefit that we follow every guideline being issued 
by a government, be they at the center, be they at the local level, you must, you must rigorously and diligently abide by whatever instructions you are given. Even when that instruction means that your freedom and movement is curtailed, you must adhere to it. Very, very important it is for your own survival. When this very virus started, a lot of people, including myself, we thought it was another version or variation, or should I say variant, I have to be grammatically correct, of SARS. You remember the SARS, the, the, the swine flu and all the rest of them. But this one is more sinister. Very, very sinister and deadly. The rate of contamination, the way it propagates, the way it, tra it transmits from one person to the other is frightening. I was one of those that believed that the media was trying to scare us. I was one of those that gravitated towards the notion that it could all be one giant stage managed event to try to raise the stocks of the pharmaceutical companies. I was one of those that believed that perhaps this was something they designed and released in order to scare us into some kind of unconformity. But that is not the case. This very virus is very, very deadly, I assure you. The essence of this very program this evening is to drive home the importance of personal hygiene, the importance of social distancing, very, very important that you distance yourself from one another. The essence of confinement at home and also quarantine, very, very critical. And I say this because in Africa, all over Africa, most of our mothers, our fathers, those in their late 60s, 70s and, and upwards, we predominantly suffer from diabetes. Diabetes. For some bizarre and perverse reason, most of the deaths recorded abroad, most of the people that have died so far from this very illness, a sizable, or should I say, significant proportion of them have diabetes. That is why we must take this very, very seriously. Because this very virus kills people in a very nasty way. There was a clip I was watching a live interview with a patient in a hospital. He said that this disease actually makes you feel that sleeping is better. Remember that thing that malaria does to you? You remember malaria. When malaria comes, it will be pushing you to go and sit under the sun, to go near a fire, to receive warmth. Do you remember? That thing is actually killing you. Is not allowing your body to develop its own immune system to fight back. That is what malaria does. Lures you into a, a false sense of security that sunlight is good for you. If you remember, that is what this virus does to people. It makes you feel like sleeping is very good. Lying down is wonderful. And I regret to say this. In very small number of people have those the doctors gave you know the um the machine that helps people to breathe because i have to be as uh, as descriptive as possible this evening you know the equipment that you see people wear that helps them to breathe once you go in there very few people come out because they have not yet realized that the best way to treat these people is by getting them to be mobile. This is the evidence coming from patients this very afternoon. They call them respirators, for some of you who are looking for the name. 
we cannot afford to get to that very critical position. Because if we allow ourselves to become contaminated, if we allow ourselves to become infected through our carelessness, if we allow our parents to become infected as a result of our own carelessness, can you imagine or dream of where we can get 20,000 respirators from the machine that will help you to breathe? which is what most orthodox doctors are going for. We are going to get the expertise, or should I say the expert medical personnel to attend or to tend to nearly say, roughly, let's say 200,000 people. Most of us live in very congested, densely populated areas in Onisha, in Aba, not so much as Enugu, in Lagos, in Kanu, some areas also in Abuja. What do you think will happen should this virus get into those places? Look at what is happening in Italy. Italy is one of the most advanced countries in the world. Look at what is happening in New York of all places. New York and Texas in America, they have the two most advanced, advanced in the whole world, more than any other country. They have the most advanced healthcare, the most advanced medical services on this very earth. Texas and New York. Look at what is happening in New York. I couldn't believe that a doctor said that they're having to make a choice as to who dies and who lives. That is how difficult it is. It is not hearsay. It is not something people watching this. I heard the doctor giving interview from inside the hospital. And to make, you know, to even bring the hospital There's a place called Excel Center in London, for those of you that know it. They're preparing. It, it, it won't be actually a surprise, you know, for people to hear that the British army is um, involved in the building of a field hospital, because in the zoo, the army is involved in, in arresting people and in stockpiling food for themselves. That's what Burata is doing. But in the UK, they went to Excel Center to build 14,000 14, beds. And the funniest thing is that it's not a Also nearby, Nearby, they are putrid. In other words, all the finest statisticians you have in the Western world, all the finest brains that you have, are basically projecting that at least 16% of those that we admitted are going to die. That is why, as, as well as building a field hospital, they are also building a morgue, a mortuary people in. I would not be that distressed nor disturbed if in Nigeria and across and in Biafra land there are good hospitals, good health care. We don't have it. Previously we also thought that because this virus cannot survive in temperatures above 28 degrees, that somehow the sun back home will kill it. May, probably that is why it's slowing it down. But the difficulty is that most people have it and they do not know they have it. And they can, the worst thing about this very virus is that they can transmit it to other people without even having or feeling ill or any form of sickness. Without showing any of the symptoms. They can still transmit and infect other people. Why am I elaborating for the simple reason that it is very, very important we stop traveling. Very, very important we stop traveling. Very, very important that we enforce self-confinement. Now we'll get to the 
uh, to the very obvious fact that we don't have food to eat and all the rest of it, and what we are doing about it as IPOB, because you don't expect us to keep quiet. I am concerned about our people, and we need to do something about it. This is the time to jettison and abandon any kind of um, misunderstanding, disagreement, rivalry, or should I say, let us just leave it at misunderstanding. I think that that's better. We must come together as a people to try to defeat the virus. Once we've defeated this very virus, we can go back to doing what we do. But right now, there is need for coming together of our people from all walks of life, every persuasion. Allow our race, the Biafran race, to emerge from this very scourge. Unscathed. Or else, disaster awaits. People, let me just tell you this. There was an information published by Britbat yesterday. Forget all the nonsense they're telling you that um, there's no new cases reported in China. That is rubbish. Because if you ask the Chinese telecom, ask China telecom, do that from December of 2019 to last week, three million mobile phone users in China have gone up the grid. I repeat, 20 million. We know that people can have two mobile phones, they can have three, they can have four. We know that people from the other. But if you, if you can have this in mind, that we live in a world where everything, every transaction is done via your mobile phone. I mean, everything. Nobody goes to the bank anymore. Everything is done via your mobile phone in advanced countries. To have 20 million people missing from this telecom. This used to be mobile phone owners. Tells you about the enormity and the dignity of this problem. In countries that are there are democracies around the world, they are far more open, far more transparent. They allow questions to come and they answer as honestly as they can. Countries like China, where you cannot take what they are telling you that they have successfully contained this very virus. They have not. I repeat, they have not. People are dying all over the place. These are in countries with medical systems. Imagine what will happen in places like Hajigunle. Just think about it. People go to look in Yaba, Lagos University, people go there to die. Ask yourself this question, where are you going to go to, to get treatment? Should you become infected? Where on earth in the zoo can you go to? That is why you must stop traveling. We know in terms of livelihood, and some people will say, if I'm going to die through coronavirus, let it be, but there is no food. As I said, we are doing something about that, and we'll get to that later. But for now, please, stop every non-essential travel. Stop going to the market. Anytime there is a restriction, please, please adhere. And that this is not a joke. In the advanced parts of the world, where they have, basically, in my view, people that actually made this very virus, they have lost 22,000 people. 22,000 dead already, officially. And no people are dead in their millions in China. I forget what they're, what they're saying. And they claim the bulk of the new cases being recorded, as we all know, they are all outside the epicenter, the former origin of this very virus is in the Wuhan um, 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 city in China. 
new cases are outside. And I say this to you. The person who was actually saying this or uh, that gave the interview from his hospital bed is a black American, for your information. So all this idea that it doesn't affect black people is false. There is a saying that um, perhaps those that took the, the, you know, the tuberculosis vaccine, that they may be considered safe. We don't know. The best thing to do is to take precaution. Just, you must wash your hands. Not when you're outside, after touching your face, you come and start washing your hands. By then, it's too late. Try as much as possible. Go out. Very. A lot of people get infected. Not, not through the breathing, but the surfaces they have touched, and close, close proximity to people that already have it. That is something you must understand very, very carefully. So if you have that, what's it called? Is it called N92 or N9 gauze or nose? You think you're protected, then you're not well. You are not protected. This infection comes via when you want to get into a bus, you hold on to somewhere where the conductor have actually put his hands before you put it. You are going in and the best for us to do is to avoid getting this very deadly infection because we do not have the hospitals can sustain as a result. places like united kingdom that are advanced the national health service very advanced 477 people and counting dead a 21 year old girl with no history no previous history of the medical condition none whatsoever she just died that is how deadly this very disease is and when bill gates said he is worried for africa i am also worried africa is humanity that is true, true very concerned people of biafra that is very concerned. This if it is found to be as potent in Africa as is proven in Asia, in Europe, and in North America, then we are in for one almighty mess. The best way is by us following every medical directive from the World, World Health Organization. But sometimes I wonder how can people follow these directives from what World Health Organization when there is no light? Do you see why we of the Jew? Because Buhari is not there, he's a, he's a high and a higher hand from man. They call themselves presidency. So any idiot can speak and it's presidency. Whereas in America, when he's speaking, you see Trump. Everywhere else in the world, a prime minister is speaking, you see Johnson. You see Yes. And the zoo, see what we call Nigeria Zoo? And the zoo cannot save you. Save themselves. Abakiari and Jubril, that they call Buhari, they are not. They can never show you. You, you have videos of the wife of the Canadian Prime Minister has coronavirus. I think the EU president has coronavirus. Telling all that 
Ekdo is non-functional. Nigeria is not functional. No president. There is nobody else in charge. A majority of them are contaminated. They, they have all infected themselves. Nigeria right now has no government. It has no Senate. In 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 US, I see the Senate voting through a stimulus package. In Nigeria, no has uh, the all the vote run away. Senate the same thing. There is nobody in charge. The only people in charge is Buratai and this Janjaweed army. I will also come to that later. That is this that we're facing. That we must all take precaution of very high in to ensure that we will come to the people to die. We do something bad. and what is that thing we are going to and we also need to include a do state well because of what we are doing and on Sunday in my podcast. Hospital state of state will nominate one hospital that IPOB in charge of that IPOB will equip so that they have everything necessary those who are will have to nominate so I am directing IP that is why we are everywhere you only units not Hampstead it's in Biafra the IPOB prepare because we are going to open food, or should I say soup kitchens, because there are those who sell the vegetables, the onions, they sell the tomatoes, they come back home, and get out for the day. If people are going to come, then we we'll make sure that they don't We are not very rich. But we do have ways and ideas and the requisite like to be able to buy people. We are going to do the best with the special grace of if we all cooperate and be obeying as generous we have always been. It is not no time for we must now prove it. And on the way to make sure this happens, their people. Some of you may have heard about the stimulus package. They announced in the UK, in England, in the UK, sorry, everywhere right around the world. Even today, they also announced one. Now you can see the advanced country and advanced. You can now see why we want Biafra. Because Biafra would have had all these contingencies built in. So, that our concern is for Biafran people, and we are going 
able to do that we can as i said gk dozier our head of dos will have line did it that we don't need issues here don't travel self quarantine at home when there is no announcement from the government down lock yourselves down at least to allow this wave to pass it will come it will pass if we avoid it, we will all be asked to continue to agitate for Biafra. These are the things we do. Prayer alone cannot save us. Prayer and fasting I do. But our prayer, the prayer that I pray every day is for God to show us a way out of this. For this very crisis, and people, a nation, we are going. All those years, all those years of telling people that you have good hospitals, that you're fighting corruption. You know, that, that's the thing. I, I don't like Corona, to be honest with you. It has exposed quite a lot. But, but I, and I, as we're on air, they're still killing people. Even the military is killing people. In, but, um, Because it's the truth. What I am about to tell you, you know that this God is heaven is miraculous. Do you know any virus, Corona? It is the show to expose regimes all over the world. It is a very bad virus, yes, but it is now exposing corruption that we are now. This is a budget. So it is not made up. Nobody is lying against anybody. 2015, when the late Buhari was alive, in his first budget, they appropriated three or nine more billion naira for Asorok Clinic. Listen carefully. Three point nine four billion, twenty fifteen. Twenty seven two zero billion. One point zero. Billion, making it a total of 12.04. Let's go by what that say. From the government up to 100 million naira. But these same people that are jailed or just a color. In jail. That they are the ones to sanitize.
very neat very clear and very neat are they going to defend this the answer is not even the most ardent janja weed please it is very clear you to basically we are the money they asking them at the money they claim they spent on us rock these are the people of integrity abc 3.1 million Say we are Bagladam, we are flying him to Lagos. These are the people that ask why it is a hundred million naira only serving seven years. Why? Because they failed to realize that in Nigeria every politics is local. You take care of your people. That is why my concern is Biafra's first. Now, do you see it? I am not saying that um, MF and Central gave somebody money. This was con for those to try and try in the clinic at Hassel Rock, uh, we are budgeting. Uh, uh, we have told you 5.87 billion. If you go to Hassel Rock, clinic is empty. Now tell me who is corrupt in Nigeria. Tell me those that need to go to jail in Nigeria. These very figures I will give to the British. Not minding what they do. I want to prove to the world that no. No, no, no people is more corrupt than Fulani. They are the most corrupt, useless, and primitive backwards. Suffering. That's why everybody is suffering. The goodness, that is what we are suffering. That is why I pray to Chukokika Biabe. Follow simples that we must survive this as a race. to us now. USA is on lockdown. All the airlines from good to my good The way it's very, very different. It's not like the Spanish flu that came in 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 nineteen. Is this is those who have very weak immunity, you stand no chance. Civilized, go back freedoms that have houses is like that is very, very careful. And I will continue to say tonight. I am announcing that a contingency fund of 50 million from IP.
you that will go into making sure we have some hospitals ready. As soon as people respond to our appeal, back home, family need was coming. Family knew. So the way The impression is that that very piece of damning five million people. We are, we are making serious headway. IPOB this evening, I'm announcing. Fera initially eight and some uh, else for what is to come. Fifty million hundred million to be able to get for it because most of the nurses and they don't make the horror. are still working to pay workers their salaries please if you do not have money to pay workers and pay them from the very very important are you paid them for security vote very very important please very important. in the spirit of this new found um um, something we'll get through this virus. I'm appealing to the government to pay salaries. I'm also appealing to to private companies to try and pay work people to feed the family with at this very period. Same stock ups. Anyway, but I grew up uh, at a time when fridge was nothing anyway. If you have anything, put it in or you hang it over the fireplace. So. Uh, in this era of um, Indomie and the refrigerator, um, those who are in charge of NEPA, still call it NEPA, should at least ensure that there is some of um, because we have a problem the people is something and also UK is placing all that thing about 15,000 ventilators so if if the UK has no ventilator and the US has no ventilator has none where would we going to from we ask people we want a con I think this is an second view. So we'll speak to you and see how much it's going to charge for that. We must have hospitals ready um, in, in Benin. We have a hospital in Asa. That is very big, so we we'll have to we we'll have to find a hospital also in Warri to accommodate. We need a hospital. It, most places are going to be two actually. We need a hospital in Orca 
and we also need a hospital in Onisha. I don't know how we're going to do this. This 50 million is not going to be enough, but we're going to do the best we can. We are IPOB. We are on this. That's the good thing about us. We always do. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This 50 million naira is an initial pledge from IPO coffers, not gotten from the purse itself. That is where these funds are coming from. I see the deal where we have to be able for food distribution to the poorest families in Biafra, food distribution will be done to the poorest families. and uh, we also need to make sure that also is secure. That is the problem. We know we pray it goes over next week. We don't want to be a zoo. I have to suspend all to work to make sure that our people are fed and they must take every advice very, very seriously. Please, I beg of you. Every red, every piece of advice we get, we must take. I don't know if you are aware. Let me also warn you. Let me also warn very what is being said. I must warn people very, very clearly. The world, in fact, no, it's not what the, the um the Ethiopian, highly regarded Ethiopian Prime Minister, have said that he is for Africa. This may take time. Remember, we are now saying it doesn't. It's China. But the Western world, Europe, is in March of 2020. Remember, December, March, four months. Then I got it. Because people traveled no flight ban there was no restriction you did as you liked and now look at where we are we don't want to go through this same mess again we don't in africa because in africa in all on the uh that is not that great because also in you overcrowded the slums you have people that do menial jobs that This is the new from the zoo. Then their hospitals are closing down because the doctors themselves are going on self isolation because they don't have the gear, they don't have the kit to cover themselves to do the work. Two doctors died in New York. To show them the right to enable them to be at least keep the Let me read the news for you, please. I'll read it for you. The University Hospital in Ibadan. Your key this ongoing outbreak. The suspension of consultation services to regulations was announced by the Chief Medical Director of the Hospital, Jesse Otegbayo, on Wednesday. Is the what a 
call it NCCD or whatever rubbish is called, is going to be there to respond on and he has never failed me and can never fail you will see what will happen to this year the real president is off of the grid now nobody asks life is not on ventilator the grid is on ventilator from the end of the they will come you watch and see what is going to happen and then you come back the right way I wish anybody ill in the zoo that you see those in Asorok that ordered the death of my house, the slaughter at Mpo, National High School, Aba, Headbridge on Nature, in Asaba, in Enugu, in Igwo, in Mbama, Akwaibom. Uh, coronavirus ravage all of them in this life and in the next. All of them. You see what will happen to the zoo. There is no Asorok. There is nobody there now. Only here is presidency. Oh, we congratulate uh, one Pentecostal thief for, for his 50th birthday. That's all they now do. There is nobody speaking. If you go, if you if you turn on your generator, it's not like and check, you will see every head of state around the world that is not ill with this very virus. You will see them standing and speaking to their people. Almost an early, even Hong Kong, Singapore. Oh, call back all their MPs. They don't wear any tie. To show you of it. From Afosa in South Africa, everybody speaks the most populous country in Africa. Where is the person you claim is your president? They said he is he tested negative that Jubril doesn't have it. Then where is he? In a time of national crisis and emergency, where is he to give direction and purpose? Let Jubril stand up and tell, as Trump has been, tell, as uh, Boris Johnson has been doing, tell the world how many ventilators you are going to purchase. Tell the world how many hospitals that are open. Tell the world the figures, the projection from the statisticians and all the experts. Come stand up and say it. He cannot. It's, it's a COVID-19 virus. That's all. And today, even ordinary COVID-19 virus, you don't hear anymore. And people are pretending as if life is normal. Do you see why Africa is, is rubbish and backwards? There is nobody to speak. Because the linchpin, the Dibia, the, the, the man, the Onyoba Obo, is down. About Yari. He is the puppet master, and he's down. Now they are so confused. They no longer know what I say. When I say that Abak Yari is the one running the zoo, you did not believe me. Now he's out of the way. Tell me if they're not in disarray. They are all in disarray. Now, like Mohammed, we had his done ventilator. Let him come out and speak. Let, uh, okay, he's Buhari. Come out and speak. Now, let's see. He cannot speak because he, his contract was $250 million. Now he has gotten what he bargained for. And as I told people a while ago, once you go into Asorok, you will either die in Asorok or you lose somebody very close to you. Go and check them from the that present regime. And I warned Jubilee, if you don't take time, you will die there. Abak if you don't take time, you will die there. Anybody who goes into Asorok, Asorok, either you die, your wife or your close relative, go and check from the that are moving to Asorok till this very day. It's a fact. Our priority is to defend Biafrans. Anything the zoo likes, it can do, but the zoo cannot defend you. In a time of crisis, in America, they're sending checks to people, sending out the agreed the stimulus package of $2 trillion. Japan, $500 billion. Everybody doing something. You can, I'm a proud Nigerian. What has Nigeria done for you now? That you're in a big, ugly mess. Nothing is to tell you, oh, don't, don't go out, don't do anything, don't travel, but they cannot take care of you. But IPOB will we'll do our best. We're not saying we can, 
provide all the solutions to the problem, but we are going to do the best we can. That is why we are here. That is why we are here. To be our brother's keeper, and that's what exactly what we are going to do. All the way from Edo, because you have many people who are in IPOB. All the way from Edo to Cross River, we are going to do the best. This family of IPOB, we're, now we want to prove to the world that indeed Elohim is with us. Some of you doubt it before, isn't it? We now I'm now going to prove to you that God is with that God is with IPOB. I'm, I'm going to prove it to you in the next few weeks. You will see it, then you will believe. Only then I'm sure that you're going to believe. Your pastors are not going to save you. I, I believe in the prayers that they are praying. You can pray in whatever language, in whatever tone that you like, that's entirely between you and your God. That's between you and your God. But these are the things that we need to do. We must be clean. Try not to touch your face. Always wash your hands. You must go and get sanitizer. If not, I'm sure that beer friends are developing uh, healthy sanitizers right now using Dettol. Dettol is a very good sanitizer because you can see on Dettol, on the can itself, and on ordinary Dettol uh, bottle or ISIL, you can see it there. It kills coronavirus. It's there. Clean, wipe surfaces and keep it very very clean please please keep it very very clean we don't want our elderly or vulnerable um, 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 citizens of Biafra to fall prey to this very virus we do not need it we are live we are direct I think I've gone over the time I said on more difficult for people. We don't need that. We don't need it. What we need is consistency. Consistency in terms of people going out to show that they care. We need to prove to our people that we are IP. We have come to make Biafra a better place for everybody. Not just this generation, but those on board. There can never be any. Nobody can rise up and spread that dying care of our people. But you said that you have billionaires, trillionaires, multi, everything you can think of. But it has called, fallen to those they call miscreants to save our people. And it is they must bear with pride. And this IPOB will save Biafra from this, from this very coronavirus. Please do exactly as you're told. Do exactly as you're told. No shining of shoes by Fulani Janjaweed. No shining of shoes. Because they'll bring it from the from, from Fulani North and bring it down to, to contaminate our people. Don't, don't let them shine. Don't. Don't. I repeat, don't. They will do everything they can to decimate our population. Please do not maintain the highest hygiene instructions. That brings us to end our program, very emergency program this very day. As I, I, I told some of you, but you, you didn't believe me, but I think This is to so weakened and incapacitated the cabal, but it has given Buratai power. But this is a war. This is what the Flannies are planning for you. And you're telling me that you are in a country <laughs> that has human beings and actually is a very serious business. People are dying. I shouldn't be. I apologize. I do apologize. People are dying.
people and we are praying for them. And then a memo from army headquarters, listen to Family for all to take protective measures to ensure the safety of the army personnel and their families. Get the test. Ask, is it going to be from China? The same people that will even add, you know, Corona. This is this variant. Add the third variant and it can give you, and they they, they puncture your skin, and that will be. until it is developed and fully certified west east please don't accept it i'm warning you now warning you now they said the army is um suspending everything they are also going to um take over all the food they'll tell you it is the army yeah, it's Boko Haram. Do you see the mess that Nigeria is in? That is why anybody who refers to him or herself as in, I see as one compound fool. One giant fool. But not be our friends, not this. Not we pray that Elohim to Kukika Biyama will come to guide, protect, and shield every Biafran wherever in China, the IPOB family in China. The IPOB family in Turkey, even in Iran, the IPOB family in Israel, the IPOB family in Italy, the IPOB family in France, the IPOB in the UK, the IPOB family in the United States of America. These are monumental hotspots, and we pray for each and every one of you. And we must also remember those back home. And as I said, 50 million is just the beginning. We hope to increase that as the days go on. But as always, we must not forget what we are here to do, which is to restore Biafra. We will continue to do. Nothing is going to stop us. That is why we say that Biafra is our religion here on radio. Biafra is where we worship because Elohim is our God. From me.